The Guiana Space Centre French, Centre Spatial Guyanais CSG, is a French and European spaceport to the northwest of Kourou in French Guiana, France. Operational since 1968, it is particularly suitable as a location for a spaceport as it fulfills the two major geographical requirements of such a site. Guyana is near the equator, so that less energy is required to maneuver a spacecraft into an equatorial, geostationary orbit, and it has open sea to the east, so that lower stages of rockets and debris from launch failures are unlikely to fall on human habitations. Rockets launch to the east to take advantage of the angular momentum provided by Earth's rotation. The European Space Agency (ESA), the French Space Agency (CNES), National Centre for Space Studies, and the commercial companies Ariane Space and Azurcosmos conduct launches from Kourou. This was the spaceport used by the ESA to send supplies to the International Space Station using the automated transfer vehicle. The location was selected in 1964 to become the spaceport of France. In 1975, France offered to share Kourou with ESA. Commercial launches are bought also by non-European companies. ESA pays two-thirds of the spaceport's annual budget and has also financed the upgrades made during the development of the Ariane launchers. On 4 April 2017, the centre was occupied by 30 labour union leaders in the midst of the 2017 social unrest in French Guiana, but was taken back on April 24, 2017. Facilities Kourou is located approximately 500 km 310 miles north of the equator, at a latitude of 5 degrees. It is a common misconception that the main advantage of launching a rocket from the equator is the extra boost provided by the speed of the Earth's rotation. For example, the eastward boost provided by the Earth's rotation is about 463 meters per second, 1035 miles per hour at the Guiana Space Center, as compared to about 406 meters per second, 908 miles per hour at the United States East Coast Cape Canaveral and Kennedy Space Center spaceports which are at 28 degrees 27 in latitude in Florida. This means that rockets need around 60 m per second more delta V to reach low Earth orbit Leo from Cape Canaveral, which is an insignificant disadvantage. In reality, the main benefit of Kourou is that the near equatorial launch location provides an advantage for launches to low inclination or geostationary Earth orbits compared to launches from spaceports at higher latitude. This is because rockets can be launched into orbits with an inclination of as low as approximately 6 degrees. The lowest inclination a rocket from Cape Canaveral could be launched to is 28.5 degrees the latitude of Cape Canaveral. Inclination change burns already require significant amounts of delta V, so needing to change inclination by 28.5 degrees seriously affects a rocket's capability to send satellites into a geostationary transfer orbit GTO. As a result of these phenomena, similarly sized Proton and Ariane 5 rockets can send similar payloads to LEO. However, the Proton, launched from high latitudes in Russia, can only send 6,270 kg to GTO while a Kourou-launched Ariane 5 can send more than 10,000 kg to GTO. <laughs> ELV, LA-1, Beck Originally built in the 1960s under the name of Base Equatorial du CECLES French, Conférence Européenne de Construction de Lanceurs et d'Engen Spatiaux, English, European Conference on Construction of Launchers and Spacecraft, the pad located at 5.236 degrees north 52.775 degrees west, 5.236, minus 52.775 was designed for the Europa 2 rocket. One Europa 2 was launched from the site. Before the program was cancelled, the pad was demolished, and subsequently rebuilt as the first launch complex for Ariane rockets. Renamed ELA, later redesignated ELA 1, it was used for Ariane 1 and Ariane 2 and 3 launches until being retired in 1989. In November 2001, it was renamed ELV Pad French, L'Ensemble de Lancement Vega and refurbished again for the Vega rocket. The first launch was performed on the 13th of February 2012. Topic LA2. 
The LA-2 pad French, L'Ensemble de Lancement Ariane 2, located at 5.232 degrees north 52.776 degrees west, 5.232, minus 52.776 had been used for Ariane 4 launches until 2003. LA-3 LA-3 French, L'Ensemble de Lancement Ariane 3 has been active for Ariane 5 launches since 1996 Ariane 501. This facility is located at 5.239 degrees north 52.768 degrees west, 5.239, minus 52.768 and covers an area of 21 square kilometers 8.1 square miles. Topic LA4. LA4 French, L'Ensemble de Lancement Ariane 4 is presently under construction, intended for future Ariane 6 launches. This facility is located at 5.26258 degrees north, 52.79074 degrees west, 5.26258 52.79074. Topic else Soyuz at CSGESA has built else French L'ensemble de lancement Soyuz at 5.305 degrees north 52.834 degrees west 5.305 minus 52.834 for launching Russian built Soyuz 2 rockets The first Soyuz launch from else was postponed several times but launched on October 21 2011 else is located on the territory of Sinemari commune 27 kilometers 17 miles from Kuru harbor It is 10 kilometers 6.2 miles north of the site used for the Ariane 5 launches under the terms of the Russo-European joint venture, ESA will augment its own launch vehicle fleet with Soyuz rockets, using them to launch ESA or commercial payloads, and the Russians will get access to the Kourou spaceport for launching their own payloads with Soyuz rockets. Russia will use the Guiana Space Center in addition to Baikonur Cosmodrome. The Guiana location has the significant benefit of greatly increased payload capability, owing to the near equatorial position. A Soyuz rocket with a 1.7 tons to geostationary transfer orbit (GTO) performance from Baikonur will increase its payload potential to 2.8 tons from the Guiana launch site. The ELS project is being co-funded by Ariane Space, ESA, and the European Union, with CNES being the prime contractor. The project has a projected cost of approximately 320 million euros, where 120 million euros are allocated for modernizing the Soyuz vehicle. The official opening of the launch site construction occurred on 27 February 2007. Excavation work however, had previously begun several months beforehand. On September 13, 2010, Spaceflight Now reported that after several delays in the construction of a mobile gantry the launch pad had been finished, and the first flight of the Soyuz was expected to occur in early 2011. By October 2010, 18 launch contracts had been signed. Ariane Space has ordered 24 launchers from Russian industry. On October 21, 2011, two Galileo IOV 1 and IOV 2 satellites were launched using a Soyuz Street rocket, in the first Russian Soyuz vehicle ever launched from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. <laughs> Final assembly building Astrium assembles each Ariane 5 launcher in the Launcher Integration Building. The vehicle is then delivered to the Final Assembly Building for payload integration by Arianespace. The Final Assembly Building is located 2.8 km miles from the LA-3 launch zone. The mobile launch table completes the trip with an Ariane 5 in about one hour. It is then secured in place over the launch pad's flame ducts. Launches Launch safety Fire safety is ensured by a detachment of the Paris Fire Brigade, a branch of the French Army. 
Security around the base is ensured by French Gendarmerie forces, assisted by the 3rd Foreign Infantry Regiment of the French Foreign Legion. Before and during launch windows, CSG facility security is significantly enhanced by anti personnel and anti aircraft measures, the exact configurations of which are classified by the French military. All entrants to the launch complex are also subject to checks for proof of permission to enter the facility. The Guiana Space Center as per CNES also contains the Isles du Salut, a former penal colony including the infamous Devil's Island. Now a tourist site, the islands are under the launching trajectory for geosynchronous orbit and have to be evacuated during launches. Topic: <laughs> Early launches. 10 March 1970 – The first Diamond B launched the Dial, Mika and Dial, Wicca satellites. Dial, Mika failed during launch, but it entered orbit with a total mass of 111 kg. Dial, Wicca provided data for about two months after launch. <laughs> Recent launches 5 October 2007 – an Ariane 5 GS launched from CSG carrying Intelsat 11 and Optus D2. The 9th of March 2008, an Ariane 5 launched carrying the ATV automated transfer vehicle Jules Verne in preparation for docking with the ISS. This was the first launch of the ESA unmanned resupply craft. The 18th of April 2008, an Ariane 5 launched carrying VINASAT-1, Vietnam's first satellite. 14 August 2008 — An Ariane 5 carrying Superbird 7 for Mitsubishi Electric Corporation and AMC-21 for SES Americom 20 December 2008 — An Ariane 5 carrying Hot Bird 9 and W2M for Utilsat 14 May 2009 — An Ariane 5 carrying the ESA's Herschel and Planck Space Telescopes 1 July 2009 — an Ariane 5 carrying TerraStar 1, the heaviest commercial telecommunications satellite ever launched. The 18th of December 2009, an Ariane 5 carrying Helios 2B European military observation satellite used by France, Belgium, Spain and Greece. The 21st of May 2011, 4:38 GMT plus 8 o'clock, an Ariane 5 ECA rocket launched carrying Street 2 satellite twice as powerful Singtel's first satellite Street 1, which was launched back in 1998. It will provide 20% more transponder capacity and a wider coverage footprint than Street 1, with C band and Ku band coverage of the Middle East, Central Asia, Indian subcontinent, and Southeast Asia. The 21st of October 2011. A Soyuz 2 carrying two Galileo satellites was launched. This was the first launch of a Soyuz rocket at the Guiana Space Center. The 17th of December 2011, a Soyuz carrying the French Space Agency's Pleiades 1 Earth imaging satellite, four ELISA electronic intelligence satellites, and the SSOT remote sensing satellite for the Chilean military. This was the second launch of a Soyuz at the Guiana Space Center. The 13th of February 2012. The Vega, which was designed in Italy, lifted off at 10 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time on its maiden voyage. The launcher released nine satellites into orbit, two Italian satellites and seven Pico satellites. 5 July 2012. The unmanned Ariane 5 rocket took off to send an American communication satellite and European weather monitoring spacecraft into orbit. Liftoff occurred at 1736 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 2136 Greenwich Mean Time. 30 August 2013 — Indian Space Research Organization launched the Advanced Multi-Band Communication Satellite GSAT-7. It was 17th Indian satellite launched from ESA with Ariane. 1 October 2015 — SkyMuster is a communication satellite launched on an Ariane 5 ECA rocket. Sky Muster is the first satellite of an operation to improve Australia's internet with the NBN program. The 6th of October 2016, Sky Muster 2 NBN Co 1B is a communication satellite launched on an Ariane 5 ECA rocket. Sky Muster 2 is the second satellite of an operation to improve Australia's internet with the NBN program. The 28th of January 2017. 
Asoya's 2STB carrying the geostationary communication satellite Hispasat 36W1 to orbit. It is the first of the ESA's small geo class of satellites. The 14th of February 2017, an Ariane 5 rocket carrying the commercial communication satellites Sky Brazil 1, Intelsat 32E, and Telecom 3S launched the satellites to a geostationary orbit. The 19th of October 2018, an Ariane 5 rocket launches the European Japanese BepiColombo mission to Mercury. Topic: <laughs> Future launches. Early 2021, rescheduled from March to June 2019, James Webb Space Telescope. Topic. Launch statistics As of 2017, Kourou counts amongst the spaceports with the highest percentage of successful launches, both successive and overall. Here is a chronology of all orbital launches from the Kourou spaceport since 1970, under the French and European space programs. Flights by launcher Flights by mission outcome Charts include all orbital launches from Kourou, sounding rockets are excluded. Historical data, launch tables from list of Ariane launches, Soyuz Street, Vega and Encyclopedia Aeronautica. Last updated on 28 October 2018. See also European Space Operations Center ESOC European Space Research and Technology Center ESTEC European Space Astronomy Center ESAC European Astronaut Center EAC European Center for Space Applications and Telecommunications ECSAT ESA Center for Earth Observation ESRIN European Space Tracking Network ESTRACK European Space Agency ESA 3rd Foreign Infantry Regiment <laughs>